Okay, John. I remember you had a question about how to draw that John Deere nut in Fusion 360. I believe there's your drawing there. I thought you said that you couldn't figure out how to do the polygon uh, sketch, so I'm, I'm just going to do it real quick. Go down, they got polygon here, and I just chose this top one. I'm not really sure. I haven't read through the other two yet. But I chose it, and then I always like drawing on this plane. And I always start from the origin and drew it out. And here you can change the sides. You can hit like, I'm going to draw a one inch nut, which I, if I remember right was 1.625 divided by 2 because it's the radius of it. So that should be about that size. And I could tab over. And if I wanted to change it to eight sides, I could. There's back to 86 sides. That ain't going to work. Six sides there. And then I just press enter. And then the the center of it is, a, is an inch, if I remember right. So we'll just sketch a circle by pressing C. Start from the origin again. And come out one inch. Because that's on the diameter enter and then I went ahead the way I done it was I just went ahead and extruded this and pulled it up and technically I think a heavy nut is supposed to be 63 60 fourths if I looked at it looked it up correctly actually yeah so Where'd my number go? <laughs> so it's... And then I just went ahead and put some threads in it. Select, well, you don't select that yet, but modify. Uh, let's create thread. And one eight, I guess, is fine. I'm not sure what thread it is. Right hand. Okay. And then I just filleted the edges, which we rolled around here. Create. Where is it at? Um, let's actually modify. Fill it. And then hold control and click all the corners. And then I put a radius of like a 0 0.1, 100 thou. And click OK. And there's your nut. So that's just playing around real quick. Uh, I'll get this video over to you and see how you like it. I don't think the audio was very very good with uh, this little screen editor, but I'll just give it a try. It's a free Microsoft version. I think it is Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. It's this screen capture one right here. That's what I'm using, so... We'll see how it works out.